In the previous video, we made a linear Bezier curve that uh, takes two control points, and that means point zero and point one. And so when we press play, we got a straight line. But this is actually a linear Bezier curve. I'm going to go ahead and open up the script that we wrote in the previous video. And uh, here we are. So today we're going to step it up and actually make a curve uh, with the quadratic Bezier curve. And so this one has three control points. And that third control point in the middle will let us create a curve. And here is the formula for the quadratic Bezier curve. And again, this is also available on Wikipedia. We can see the same formulas right here. But now that I have this formula, let me go ahead and switch over to the script. And before I do that, let me duplicate point number one so that we get point two. And we'll put this one up above like this. Uh, and so the curve will, will follow that line. All right, so we have our three control points. And the one function that we have is called calculate linear Bezier curve point. But we're going to make a new private vector th uh, function that returns a vector 3. And this one is going to be named very similar except it's calculate a quadratic calculate quadratic BZA point and this one of course needs to take the T for time and then of the first control point the second control point and uh, final we're gonna have to include another vector 3 control point since we have three control points now and uh, this is going to give us an error until we until we return something. So we're going to have to return something. Of course, it's going to be a vector 3. And to solve that, let's go ahead and look at the formula. So uh, we can see here that this is the equation for the quadratic Bezier curve. So I'm going to copy this and just move it into my function here as a comment. And what I need to do is uh, rewrite this as C sharp code. So the BZA curve here, this is a, the function itself. And so this is, uh, it's going to be the same to essentially replace that with, with this return. So we're going to be returning this formula. And I can see that we're using something a couple of times here. 1 minus T. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new float called u, and u is going to be equal to 1 minus t. And so this now becomes u, and this also becomes u. And the next thing I can see here, and it's actually a little easier to look at here where the, where the squared sign is showing up correctly, but we could see that there is a t squared. And so t squared, there is a couple of ways to do that. But since it's just squared, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new float called tt. And that's going to be equal to t multiplied by t, which is going to give us the a t squared result. So this t to now becomes the uh, tt variable and let's make another variable because again looking at the formula i can see that the 1 minus t which is actually u now uh, that is also squared so let's multiply that by itself i'm going to call that uu and that is going to be equal to u multiplied by u. So now we have a variable for this, uh, which is u. And then we have a variable for this, which is u, u. And the only thing left here is uh, p0. And then we have a p1 and a p2. So those are the points. And then there's just t here 
uh, which we have T as well. So now I'm going to make a, a new vector 3, and this will be what we actually return. And let me just call that uh, P for point, and that is going to be equal to, let's start at uh, the, the very beginning. We have U here, but this is squared, um, so that has actually become U, U. So UU multiplied by P0, and then we got to do plus 2 times uh, U, and then that's going to be multiplied by T, and that's going to be multiplied by P1, and uh, the, because in math, when we put these numbers right next to each other, like uh, T right next to P1, that, of course, means multiply those together. And in C-sharp, we're going to have to put the asterisk to multiply those. So, And now we've got the uh, plus TT multiplied by P2. So this is this rewritten with our variables that we've made. So what I'm going to do is the first part of this here, which is going to be uh, vector 3. P is equal to u u multiplied by p zero so that takes care of this part of it and next we're gonna uh, take p and we're gonna do a plus equals we'll just do this next part here um, so that's gonna be plus equals two multiplied by u multiplied by t multiplied by p one so that should take care of 2 multiplied by u multiplied by t multiplied by p1. And now that we're to another plus symbol, let's do a p plus equals. And the last part of this, of course, is tt multiplied by p2. And now that we're at the very end of the equation, we can go ahead and finish the return. And we're just going to return that p. All right, it looks like I need one more bracket. And uh, we have gone from this to writing it into a C-sharp function. Um, so I'll leave the comments here for reference, but let's go ahead and save that and go back into the script. Well, I go, let's go back into the script, definitely. And we were drawing a linear curve, but this time let's draw a... Well, we're going to need to make a function for this because we had a function called draw linear curve. And now we're going to need to make a function to draw a quadratic curve. And calculating the quadratic curve should be almost exactly the same as the linear curve, except for we're going to want to change the function here to the quadratic point, and then this is going to take uh, three positions. So we'll do, it looks like we're going to have to make a new variable called point two, and we'll assign that manually in the inspector. There we go. And so with the point two uh, being assigned, we now can call that in the script. It's going to be point two dot position. And if any of this uh, is not making sense, that's because it's already been covered in the first uh, video when we drew the linear curve. And so make sure to watch that before this one. All right, we are calculating uh, the linear quadratic. And I had typed calculate linear quadratic point. That doesn't make much sense. So calculate quadratic BZA points. That's the function I'm looking for. And now let's go back over. And here we have all of our points assigned. Um, we're drawing the quadratic curve. We have the function correctly returning the right values. And now when the script starts, let's go ahead and draw the quadratic curve. Which means if I press play, we should have a 
nice curve between those points. The only problem, well, it's not a problem, everything's fine. But when I moved these uh, control points, the new one that I made, I had put it up above here. Really, this last one is, is the last, is the end of the curve. So the one in the middle, point one, should be up here. That's going to be more like the curve that I was expecting to see. Um, but we can, of course, change that. And it's going to uh, change the shape of the curve. Now, if we want this to update in real time, let's just move draw quadratic curve into the update function. And now when I'm playing, it's going to be doing that every single frame. So back into the scene view, I should have some control over uh, seeing how this curve is is drawn. And I can definitely see that our code is working good. And uh, the function is drawing a nice quadratic BZA curve. So in the next video, we're going to be making a cubic BZA curve. And the only difference there is that the cubic uh, BZA curve has four control points. So we have a bigger uh, formula to work with. But and all we're really doing is adding another point. So make sure to check out the next video. We're going to have the final video for quadratic. Wait, for BZA curves, linear, quadratic and cubic. Thanks for watching. Give it a like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.